Hey you guys, Beta here. So usually when I film my YouTube videos, I film them on a camcorder and I edit them in the iMovies on my computer. But today it's a little bit different. See, since I became an iPhone user, I've been obsessed with it. And that the iPhone 6S, which I have, comes with iMovie, the iMovie editing software app already on the phone is great. So I have decided to film and edit the entire video based only on my iPhone 6S. So recently I did some errands and went to do some things for the King of Booth Art Show going to be in soon and my new my new project, my Canon tote bag. So I do some errands based that that went to Blake with my with Staples, things like that. So I recorded my entire doing entire time doing those errands and in this video I'm going to show you how I edit those video clips on the iPhone 6S using the iMovie editing software app on the phone only. So this entire video is going to be edited and filmed and edited on my iPhone 6S. It's going to be great, so keep watching. Oh, and also at the end, I will show you the completed video after it was edited and everything done with it. So you can see how it looks being after it was edited on my iPhone 6 using the app, the iMovie app. So keep watching, enjoy. Okay, so that we are recording so we are recording and editing and we on I release on my iPhone 6 on our phone we need to record we need to edit from the phone so we see see the phone itself. So the best way to record from your phone is to go to the QuickTime app program, can't think app, use my phone, and then clicking file new movie. Okay, so you see me, but you don't want to see me. So go to click the little button down here, and you want to click the your phone, the name of your phone. And there's my phone. Okay, you see my phone opens up in iMovies, in iPhotos, but I don't want right now. So that's the phone is open. We're going to go to the iMovie app. So this is the iMovie app. This is what you see when you first open it. So now that you have the movie app, you want to see, you want to make the screen vertical. And you write hard about the vertical. Yeah, vertical, long way, so you can see the actual full clip. So it's click your phone the way you will see it, and there it goes. See? So it's easy, right? Okay, so this is where you will begin using the you know, making, making movie, the iMovie app. The little box that says create video, this little box, this is where you will create the video. So we're going to create project, click on it, and now we're going to say new movie because it's where you want to add your videos, and your video clips, and photos, music to make an actual movie. So we're going to click movie. Now, here are all different kind of layouts you have and choose from to make your movie, but we're going to be simple because we can do our own layout. So we're using simple, and then we're going to create. Click create in the upper right hand corner. Now this is the actual screen where you actually start creating the video itself. So I'm, I'm going to go through each little bit function here to show you what it means. Now the first one top is this tap and a little like film screen and a music note to set as the select video and photo of video. This is where you actually click get your video clips from. It's connected to your iPhotos on your phone or your device. The next one is this tap and give a little camera to record your video camera. This is where you can record a raw video straight from your camera from and well, already uploading it another section. So you can record your own video straight from your, from your phone. And then the little, the, the little trust marks is tap for help. And this screen has one of these. It allows you, it gives you a little, it lets you know what each function, what each symbol means. So you click on it. Okay, one more here. But I'll show you it in another screen. Okay, and on the left hand side, when this is done, this little this microphone where you can record your voice and the same function from the screen in the middle. Oh, here we go, yeah, here, here's the question mark. The question mark shows you what each function means and you press it. See? It will show you what everything means on the screen. That screen. This little wheel here shows you can give you options for filters. And you can choose different things for your video, and you have music here, and fading and feedback, and it's to the, the speed of your speech, and your, of your voice. This little arrow, I'll show you, and then you start editing as a clip, because it's a really cool function. And this is the play button. And down here, you'll see the little, the little white line is at, it's in zero, zero, it's zero seconds. This is where you actually, before you actually edit your actual clips. 
Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to edit uh, some clips I've created from a while ago, well, a few days ago, and it little errors with me, but like that. So, okay, so we can get started with those clips. So click the little bear button. This is where you will collect or get all your clips from. So I'm going to be using clips here. And these are all the clips I'm going to use. So let's find the first clip I'm going to use. Okay, here's the first clip. So you can go click it. Now, when you click on a clip, you see more little functions here. And a little arrow, the arrow pointing down means that it's going to download that clip onto the actual screen where you're going to store everything you do from the power before this page. That's the power button, that's the power button, no. That's the play button, sorry. Where you can actually play the clip before downloading it. You can change the speed, how high low you want it. This is picture in picture, you can add a picture above a video so you can sync into the video or next to it. So we're going to download simple, simply this clip. So click the arrow button, and there it's downloaded. Okay. So we're the beginning of it. And we're going to play this heavy one. Okay, beginning is good. Now I want to get to fix the end of it. Now I don't, I don't want to do too much editing to this video clip. I want to keep it as well as possible. So we're going to find if I want him, I want to clip it off. And that will be probably about there. Okay, so this is where we'll show you how. Now I want to get rid of that section part, This the end section part right there. So we're going to split it and take it off. So now see what's the business. The little symbol of the cut seat and the seers. The scissors on the side. See, I do have a stutter. See, that's probably both stutter stutter in video. Ah, interesting. Anyway, scissors, there we go. That's better. So, we're going to cut off that part of the video. So, the easy way to do is that's highlighted, you're going to say split what's underneath there. Or the cool way is take your finger and swipe your finger along the right of that line. See, they did do it. No, they didn't do it. Let's do it again. Gently swipe it and then tighten that line. There we go. You see? Now I'll just cut off the part that I didn't want. And now I want to delete it. So, delete it. Okay, but let's say you cut off too much. You want it back. You do that. So you click on the main and click of it. And that little arrow to the before, I'll show how it works. Click on that arrow. And there it is. It pops back. Now let's say you want to detach it back to the actual bulk of moves you have. So that, that the, the part of the clip that was selected, you can click it again, double click select it, click the arrow again, and we'll pull back exactly to the original clip. So the whole clip is originally how it was. But we want to get rid of that part. So we go back where I want to be, and we're going to get rid of that part. So click, swipe, Delete. There we go. Now let's check its how it looks. There we go. Good. Okay, so let's do the next clip. Symbol again. Okay, download. Okay. So now we're in Central Park. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're in Central Park right now. So now there's a transition here in the middle. Now, if you want to change transitions, you change those. You click on the transition, the distance one there, and choose. Here's none will have none transition where you just, it just, it just like you block you, go click to next, and no transition at all. And then here you have slides, you have slides outside, swipe and fade. We're going to stick at dissolve. So I'm going to let the other one. I tried before, I'm not too much. So we're going to keep it at that. So we're going to keep it at dissolve. Oop, no, it's not going to edit. Sorry, we'll get back there. Okay, so we're at, that's the dissolve button, okay, so we're in the park here, in the park, I had a pimple that day, it was terrible, see my pimple, oh, it's so, it's so nasty, I barely ever get pimples, it's so nasty, look at my pimple, Ugh, it's so disgusting, okay, so this feels good, so we're going to do the end, my pimple, that is nasty. Okay, and here we're gonna do about, we lead about there. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe there. Okay, so again, click, swipe, oh no. Again, click, 
swipe. Okay, so usually when you click, when you when you're point of, the point that you want to delete is not more like a minute long, like ten seconds long. You have to you can swipe, but you have to draw it out your finger manually. So that's what I'm doing here. Okay, so there we go. So let's see how it looks. And there we go. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so next clip. No, uh, cancel. Okay, that's next clip we're gonna do. There we go. So we're gonna find next clip. And here we go. Okay, download. Yeah. That's the same clip? Hope not. I think it's the same clip. I'm trying to get rid of that. Let's see, this the same clip. Oh no, wait, okay. Maybe we'll just end click. Um, let's see, where to start? Yeah, we'll just end Okay, so we're going to delete that clip. There we go. Okay, that's why we're at the park. Okay, now we need to find the next clip. With not me at the park. Oh, actually, it was two different clips. Okay, it was two part clips. Okay. See, if you click on the clip, you can see what the actual clip is about. Okay, okay so I was moving apart. I had to do my first errand. Because the one I just put down was the one I used to my pimple. Yeah, okay. So this is the one you want. Okay, so you're right. I'll write before. Okay, I'll write. So this is the second clip. <laughs> Let's see where it's done. Okay, Let's see, it's the transition. We're gonna keep saying this and put the entire video here. Okay, I think we're walking. I was going over my way to Staples, so let's see the end. Okay, so we're gonna clip off that part. Clip, delete, there we go, and check. Yeah, okay. So right now I'm getting this clip, and this clip is, so yeah, I was in Uptown, you know, in Harlem, I was in Harlem, this is Uptown, this is the day, in the bar. it was so hot that day, it was like 70 but it felt like hotter than that, and I was like in a jacket, I was like, what in the world, it was like summer, it really like summer kind of day, okay, so this is me, let's go the street, we headed to Staples in this video, so we're going to edit, Take that part. So we're gonna snip, delete. Here we go. Okay. The check. Good. And then next clip. Oh, this is the funny clip. This is all like in the center of Harlem on one twenty fifth. This was kind of the because they was in that area area, and this is like. It's very noisy that day in this room like that. But we're gonna edit so now we don't need to see traffic. So we're gonna take out the traffic part and we're gonna pull it quite where let's see to get to where is that guy not the guy. There we go him. We're gonna start where he is at. That's where he's gonna be. Then we're gonna click. Swipe and delete and double check. And there we go. See, need to take a little bit more off. And then let's start again. Let's start over again. See, it'll work. That was a cool thing, right? It went backwards. Okay, we want to start with it. Here is where he is right there. We're gonna skip and delete. Okay, now we're gonna see how it looks. Okay, that's not bad. The corners. So I don't want to do too much editing, it needs to be as raw as possible. So it's not too, like, editing looking. It looks more like real and raw. And like, it was good, like, it was a good day. So we keep walking. And we get to this 
that they would dance in the street like him watching. Okay, yeah, go boy, do you think? No, someone else did? Go ahead, let's move. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna crawl because after this, we can see the walking us on boy. So after the dance of the last dancer, him, there's a kick. Yeah, we thought we were stopping that his kick. There we go, right there, stopping it. We need to do it after his kick. So, like, there. So, swipe, delete. Okay, so that's where his kick is at. Now, next clip, we'll see how it blends in with his um, the last dancer. So, the next clip is me. Uh, I think this is where I went to Staples. Yes, yeah, me going into Staples. Okay, so let's see how it works. Yeah, see, that's good. Okay, so let's me open door at Staples. Open door. Mm, what that would mean do about there? Let's read it just the floor they put inside you. Like you don't want to see that. So I wonder if you're interested in letting me film it. There was no one's made to it. But like, let me do it. Okay, so there we are in Staples. This is the biggest funny Staples trip, first of all. I'd like to get, I'll tell you about that in a little bit, but it's very disappointing. Okay, there you are. Mm. And here's the next thing. Here's, here's me explaining the, the dilemma that Staples caused me that day. I just needed two copies. It's insane. See, I would go in there just to get copies of the flyers my for, for the Penguin Blue Show, and none of their creatures were working properly, and no one knew what they were doing. So it was, like, not very good. That was not very fair with that. Okay, let's get that ended there. You know, then that I was on it at the same time. Did not, you know, add to it, add to it. It's a little cranky at that point. So, I like labels. And let's see. That I was hungry. Let's see, no point in it. Okay, so now. That I'm starving and get some eat. I was hungry. I think I had lunch today, but I'm not like, I must have lunch. So you don't get to eat. You know, they do so much work and things, some things to do during the day. Forget to eat, which is like weird. Who knows? I think it was the word thing. I ate, but not like most of that shit. I don't know. So here we are. I just got my checkers. See, I only eat fast food, but I was starving one day and I, and I like did not care. So I got two cheeseburgers from the checkers with walking six train and just eating us on the way. So that made me very happy at the end. Okay, so we're gonna the clip is good, that clip is good. We're gonna finish and right there. And we're going to throw it in because it's the last look. Hold on. We're going to clip it about there. Can I do a little bit? No, see this is not long enough. So I need to draw it in manually if you let me here. Let me draw it in. There we go. Okay, good. So there we go. Okay, so we're going to six strength right now. We got Blick. So excited. I love Blick. Okay, it's a long train ride though. Oh, uptown to Barn Street, so so here we are, finally at Barn Street, finally is all, so we're finally moving in front of the as well. So it's all exciting to see movie trucks, and one of, one of what celebrities there. So, okay, let's see. Finally at Blick. I was trying to, I wanted to record inside Blick, but they don't allow me to it, and the people who walk there, who work there, they follow you around like, I don't know what, it's annoying their time, but they follow you around because they ask you, need help? It's very polite, but it's like, leave me alone! <laughs> nice. Okay, so we're going to click right there and get rid of this one. So I couldn't film inside a play, even though I wanted to, but I couldn't. Okay, after, so, after I got what I needed, 
Let's see, get my stuff. I'm gonna do a video to show you what I bought at like that day. But that's the my as well, so that I got some stuff from my camera store that I got from coming up and other stuff and things and things like that. So it was a good job guys. Because I use people that keep on and keep on time because from time so it was if we got keep on. So we're talking about that. And then I'm very happy. Like that. See you later in the day, so I'm going to go home soon. So, after I love Blick, I was, I was going to, I thought about walking to Union Square, so I was trying to get these files printed. So I was walking on 8th Street, turned out 8th Street from Bond Street, and I found another thing. I said, I'm going to get these files printed if it doesn't the last thing I do. So I found the staples. Here it is. I'm very happy about it. And then when I came out this day, well, I was even happier because I got my flyers printed out. Let me just show how it happened. After I found after I found the flyers, the staples on A Street, I went from the other side. Tell you all I needed. Their friend was saying the same thing once said at one point, but my last drive was not reading, which made no sense because it was fine. So the guy tried to figure out his copy center area of name staples, and he couldn't figure it out at all. It was weird. So he ended up printing, going to like a random printer and a random period out in the store, like used by employees only, to print out, try to print it out. And it worked. He gave me what I needed, and I said, two copies, see how they print it out, it's great. Usually it's like 70 cents for all copies of staples. Well, that was free because it's like a drama I went through to get the good staples. So he's a very nice guy. guy. He was so A Street um, people are very, A Street staples pimper are very nice. So I already had about that. That made my day because I was, I was determined to get that done. So now we're done. Now we'll be saved. We have 7 minutes 16 seconds. So I want to save it. I want to call it, I'll call it my day. Got well, that done. So now we're going to save it. Put a little arrow in the middle here. It's going to save it to here. You upload it to all different social media sites, things like that. We're going to save it to the iPhones. So we'll save the iPhones. And we're going to save it in H 1080p. So this, when you save it, 1080p is, is a good way to save it because it's high definition. Clear vision, clear, in clear video to watch, and things like that. Throw the file, but close the file. But it's better. So, if this is uploaded, I'm going to upload it onto YouTube. I'm not going to upload it to my phone, so I need to put in the kitchen box and stuff, things like that. But when it's done, it will be, I will upload on YouTube channel and I will add the final video where how I ever edited this came from. Let's so you show me do the process of editing, and I'll show you the result. At the very end of the video, so this is going to be a probably long video, but you'll see how from the beginning to the end works. The all is from the iPhone 6 using the iMovie app. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned how to edit movies on your iPhone. It's easy, so you need whatever you want. I know you have an iPhone, the iMovie app, or I, I think the iMovie app comes on Android as well. It probably does. So, where you are, can upload video any, any way you want. It's just easier. It's just smart my smartphone now. We just need no need to sit at home anymore and like record video. We can do it like walking on the street. It's it's technology has advanced to that level. <laughs> you know, it's 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 much easier now. We do like this. So hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. Bye. everybody today is april 1st happy, happy happy april fools day everybody today's video is i have to do the errands come get ready for my art show at penny and booze so you're gonna come with me we're gonna go to staples we're gonna go to blick because nothing about that gotta get stuff for my tote bag project as well and but before we do that i want to show you a little update about my campaign my campus and tote my campus tote bag um project i'm doing Car at the same time, I'm going the street. It's so about I have a pimple on my face, and I'm bothering me. I don't like that. But, 
Anyway, let's head over to the park and I'm gonna show you one of those actual top five projects my Kim Philpan collection. Okay, I'll show you soon. Let's go to the park. Okay, here we are in Central Park near the lake where I live to the park. And let me show you another view of the park. There's the park. And there's the other side of the lake. So here's my problem to telling you about. I am going to add to my um Kim Philpan collection that I'm gonna do a thing called New York City Park promotion. Thanks to a good friend. Oh, I'm leaving the room. Let's get some light so you can see me better. Okay, there we go. That better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, so thanks to a good friend of mine, Paul, who suggested the idea that I do a kind of promotional outlay kind of thing in, in Central Park, in the parks of New York City. So while I'm creating my canvas tote bags, I'm going to create them in the park in New York. So I'm going to sit in the park for a day and just paint and see what happens, see who noticed me and see my artwork, and get more attention for myself just sitting around in a park just painting or really painting my new collection. This pimple is bothering me like ever can be. Don't look at it. It's really bummed. I hate it. Anyway, so that's part of the park. So I'm starting with Central Park. I'm doing park right now. I'm in right now. I'm gonna sit here soon and I'll do other parts from New, New York City, all of the five boroughs. So I'm planning out now, so I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Um, but yeah, that's the new that's the part of my two cameras to a collection that I'm working on coming soon. I'll talk more about that and later on so get even more that's coming closer. So look out for that. Okay, so that's my new addition to my chemist with a project. I'm going to be painting the bags in parts of New York City while promoting myself. So I'm looking forward to it. Good idea. Thanks, Paul, for the idea. So, okay, so we are now on our way to Staples because I need to make a copy of the personal flyer I made for Pink and Goo's show. I'm giving it to people as well. So I made, I have two editions of it. The bike went by, excuse me. I made two versions of it. One has my photo on it, one doesn't. So I'm going to go to Staples right now and I'm going to make a copy, color print copy of it, how it's printed out before I make 2,000, I got more, 200 of them for the show and for promoting the prior to the show. So yeah. I'm going to do that and make it something to eat because I'm hungry and there's crazy high school kids around the street like crazy. So let's go. I'll see you at Staples. Okay, I'm almost at 125th on the Staples. It is hot out here. Like, it feels like 80 degrees, but it's like 73. I feel like community is like 80 degrees. But it is, like, and, and no one out here is dressed for the weather. Like, because the rain is morning, now it's like summer. Literally, like summer. So, it's physically hot. <laughs> Yes, that's the post. I didn't get it more done because the line was too long and the circle was so slow. And I painted them every two reason slow for slow people. So I would paint them up my motion flyers out another day, but now it's like a blick. First, this is me eat because I'm hungry. Okay, I got my food. Very happy. Got checkers. Starving. So I'm going to eat this on the way to the train. To the six train to Bond Street to go to Blick. I will see you there. Okay, we are finally at Blick after a very long train ride. We finally here. They're actually the thing of movie. As you can see the trucks are right there. The thing of movie down here. So we are on Bond Street in the village. We go inside and we're gonna get some stuff. Now, Blick does not allow filming in the store, but we're gonna try to sneak here. We're gonna see that. If I can't film inside, I'll show you after what I got. So Let's okay, it. just doing shopping at Blick, got my stuff, got some air paints I needed, and I got another canvas bag, 
so I'm gonna show it at the Thank You Booth Art Show. So got one need, um, and one of them will some color. But I got a good amount of colors. Um, I couldn't film in the store because they allow it. So it's hard for people walking around to watch you when you stop. So I will do a view. I will do a haul. I mean on these abs I, I just purchased to show you all. Okay. So I'm gonna go to Union Square and get the two of fourteen to seven. Plus, look what I found on the Google Apps and I a speaker. Let's go and see if I can print out my flyer here. Okay. Finally got the flyers printed for the Pink and Blue show. Let me tell you how it went. First of all, they have a self-service copy center where you can print your own, your own, pop, your own documents for yourself. It was working for me because it was up in my flash drive on both of the machines. So I went to the salesman to help me out. He couldn't figure out their own copy center because no one was there. And then he finally figured out just some random printer for the computer they have in the store. And he gave, probably printed them out. And he gave them for free. I saved doll something and change. <laughs> so yeah, it's my need now. I now have umbrella on my coat my hood. My day is over, or my evening is over. I'm gonna go home now and relax. This video will be up over the weekend. Um, I will do a haul on items that I purchased in Blake today. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!